Welcome to The Cosby Show, a classic TV series that brought laughter, shock, and a touch of sadness into households. Have you ever shared a special moment with this show? Well, get ready for a journey filled with funny, shocking, and even somber facts. This sitcom, known for its humor and relatable family dynamics, has left an imprint on many. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to it? We're eager to hear your stories and recollections in the comments below. Stay tuned as we delve into the world of The Cosby Show, uncovering anecdotes that will keep you hooked. Share your memories with us, the funny, the shocking, and the sad. Let's reminisce together about this iconic series that has touched so many lives. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Cosby Show? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Titled after Bill Cosby, acclaimed as the TV dad of all time, the sitcom revolves around the life of Cliff Huxtable, an upper-middle-class African-American obstetrician residing in Brooklyn, New York. Cosby, previously known for his groundbreaking role in the 1960s series I Spy, where he portrayed a secret agent alongside his white partner, defied conventions by showcasing an African-American family's working life in an upper-middle-class setting. The show challenges stereotypes, portraying a positive example of normalcy within an unconventional context. This representation resonated across various demographics, earning three consecutive Emmys for Cosby's earlier work and later becoming the number one American TV program for five consecutive seasons. The sitcom seamlessly bridges racial and generational gaps, becoming a cultural phenomenon that transcended borders. Cosby's comedic prowess, complemented by Felicia Rushad's portrayal as his wife, creates a timeless appeal. The characters, portrayed by Cosby's children, evolve with charm and individuality. The show addresses a spectrum of issues typical for a family program, from coming-of-age challenges to societal dilemmas, all handled with realistic humor and without a preaky tone. Cosby, a father of five, draws from personal experiences, including the tragic loss of his son to gun violence, to impart genuine family values. The blend of entertainment and education makes it a legendary program, appreciated by audiences in the 80s and enduringly relevant for generations. Whether navigating dyslexia, teenage pregnancy, or divorce, the show tackles these issues with a light touch, offering subtle guidance without losing its comedic essence. In essence, it's not just a sitcom. It's a family guide presented with warmth and humor. Anyone seeking insights into parenting can find valuable lessons by watching it. Your kids will appreciate it, no joke. In the aftermath of the 2008 election, Republican strategist Karl Rove attributed a notable role to The Cosby Show, asserting that it had set the stage for America's election of an African-American president. Rove emphasized that during the show's run, the Huxtable family symbolized America's family, transcending racial distinctions. Bill Cosby, adamant about capturing the authentic essence of the series, insisted on filming it in New York City. This choice reflected his commitment to grounding the show in a genuine urban setting. Despite the show's acclaim, Bill Cosby, in a distinctive move, never sought or received an Emmy nomination for his acting on the series. He actively opposed the idea of competitive recognition among performers, underscoring a personal stance against such distinctions. These facets shed light on the show's impact on societal perceptions and Cosby's commitment to authenticity, both on and off the screen. Lisa Bonet's intermittent presence in The Cosby Show's third season marked her character Denise's college journey. The subsequent spin-off, A Different World, delved into Denise's life at Hillman College, Departing briefly in Season 5, Bonet faced creative differences and was dismissed in Season 7. The Huxtables, mirroring Bill Cosby's real-life family, featured four daughters and one son, the son holding the middle position. Cliff Huxtable, the patriarch, earned the top spot on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time list. The Cosby Show, rooted in familial authenticity, navigated Bonet's departure and continued triumphantly. Bill Cosby's own family dynamics served as the blueprint for the Huxtables, resonating with audiences. Cliff Huxtable's portrayal as the ultimate TV dad cemented the show's impact, capturing a genuine family dynamic. In the early 1980s, Bill Cosby's presence on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson caught the attention of NBC program executive Brandon Tartikoff. Inspired by Cosby's family-oriented monologue, Tartikoff envisioned a sitcom starring Cosby. 
The result was The Cosby Show, a family-focused series that would leave a lasting impact. At the pilot's inception, the Huxtables featured four children. However, an afterthought led to the addition of Sandra, the eldest daughter. Originally, Sabrina LaBeouf, age 26, and Whitney Houston, 21, contended for the role. LaBeouf, just 10 years younger than Felicia Rushad, secured the part when Houston declined due to her singing career aspirations. Felicia Rushad, a seasoned actress, assumed the role of Claire Huxtable, portraying a motherly figure to her on-screen family. Ten years her junior, Sabrina LaBeouf took on the role of Sandra, contributing to the diverse Huxtable family dynamic. The show's casting decisions, influenced by practical considerations, added unique elements to its composition. As the Cosby Show unfolded, it became a cultural phenomenon, shaping societal perceptions and leaving an indelible mark on television history. Its authentic portrayal of family life, anchored by Bill Cosby's comedic insights, resonated with audiences, cementing the show's place in the annals of TV classics. The Cosby Show, a sitcom that aired in the 1980s, tackled real-life issues within the Huxtable family. Theo, mirroring Bill Cosby's son, grappled with dyslexia, offering a genuine portrayal of a common challenge. Bill Cosby, known for his comedic prowess, often improvised his lines, injecting authenticity into his character, particularly evident in solo scenes. Marcy Carcy, one of the show's producers, expressed shock at later revelations about Cosby's personal life, contrasting them with their collaborative experiences. Despite recent controversies, the show's impact on television history remains significant. Olivia, a character introduced in The Cosby Show, faced harsh criticism as Jump the Shark ranked her the third worst new character on a TV show. In a memorable cold opening, Olivia, wearing a Bart Simpson mask, alluded to The Simpsons, a rival show that drew viewers away from The Cosby Show. This episode marked a departure from the usual format. Additionally, in the early episodes of season one, Theodore, the sole son in the Huxtable family, was referred to as Teddy. These nuances offer insights into the show's dynamics and its response to external challenges, reflecting the evolving landscape of television during that era. The Cosby Show, a groundbreaking sitcom in the 80s, embedded real-life influences into its narrative. Winnie and Nelson Tibidox, the twins born to Sandra and Elvin, were named after Nelson Mandela and his then-wife, Winnie Mandela, the first black president of South Africa. These symbolic names reflected the show's commitment to social awareness. Originally conceived with Cliff as a chauffeur, Bill Cosby's wife, Camille, suggested transforming him into a doctor. This shift aligned with the show's mission to challenge racial stereotypes. Camille's maiden name, Hanks, was integrated into Claire's character, adding a personal touch to the show's familial dynamics. The Cosby Show, through its deliberate choices and authentic representation, solidified its place in television history. These subtle details, rooted in real-world connections, added layers to the show's impact on societal perceptions, demonstrating its commitment to breaking barriers and fostering genuine connections. Against the odds, The Cosby Show, initially underestimated due to its Thursday night slot opposite Magnum P.I., defied expectations and emerged as the number one show on air. The sitcom's success became evident when it even surpassed Magnum P.I.'s dominance on Thursday nights, with the Golden Girls being the only show to dethrone it. In early episodes, Theo's pursuit of an expensive Gordon Gartrell shirt became a notable storyline. Interestingly, the real-life Gordon Gartrell played various roles behind the scenes, eventually becoming a producer in the show's later seasons. The casting choices for familial relationships had some intriguing age dynamics. Earl Hyman, who portrayed Cliff's father, was surprisingly 11 years older than Bill Cosby. Similarly, Ethel Ayler, cast as Claire's mother, had a 14-year age difference with Felicia Rashad. These behind-the-scenes elements, coupled with the show's unexpected triumph on Thursday nights, added unique layers to the Cosby show's impact on television history, proving its resilience and cultural significance.